Hey guys, this is Desiree with MBD Now, and I'm here to talk to you about titling and registering your vehicle. I know it's hard and I know everyone hates doing it, but that's what we're here for is to help you out and to make it easier for you. We know everyone hates going into the MBD. There's long lines, everyone's rude, you don't have all the stuff you need, you have to make multiple trips, and that's why we made these videos for you to help you out. We're trying to make it easier and one quick trip just for you. Here are the topics we'll be discussing. Number one, normal title and registration. For example, you have the title, you bought it from your cousin, and you wanna register your vehicle, or you bought it from a dealership. What happens next? Number two, out of state titles. You could have bought a vehicle from out of state. Maybe you're moving from a different state to New Mexico. Number three, title only. Pretty self-explanatory. For example, you have the title, but your vehicle's in the shop, so you don't want to get it registered. Number four, no title. So maybe you bought a vehicle from out of state and they didn't have the title. So we'll touch base on that. Five, errors on the title. Unfortunately, we cannot register a vehicle with errors on the title, but with the information provided, we can show you how to correct that. Now let's dig a little deeper into the topics we've mentioned starting with normal title and registration. Here's what you'll need. A completed New Mexico title filled out, or you can use a bill of sale. You'll need your New Mexico driver's license, a current insurance card that's valid, and if you live in Bernalillo County, you will need emissions. Now, if you buy it from a dealership, they normally register it for you. If you pay cash, they give you all the paperwork to do it yourself. They'll typically give you a squared NCO. It's a title that you'll bring in your purchase agreement showing how much you paid for the vehicle, a current insurance card, and your driver's license. No need for any emissions. It's a brand new vehicle. Now let's move on to number two, out of state titles. Be very careful with how you fill it out on the title because every state is different. We fully recommend you fill out a bill of sale just in case. You'll also need your insurance card, your New Mexico driver's license, now, if you're moving in from out of state, you might need to bring in two proofs of address. You'll also need your emissions test and a VIN inspection. If you're the owner of the vehicle and just moving into New Mexico, you'll bring in the title in your name and everything else that I have mentioned, like insurance and driver's license, also applies, along with a VIN inspection. Now, moving on to number three, title only. Sometimes your vehicle may be in the shop and you just wanna title it, that's okay. Bring in your title. We strongly recommend you fill out the bill of sale and your driver's license, and that's all. Let's talk about number four, having no title at all. It's very common, but there is a fix. It's called a surety bond. It's kind of lengthy and I'll go into detail in a different video, but for you to know, it is doable. Lastly, number five, errors on the title. Very common to do but here's how to fix it. You'll bring in the title with the error on it. You'll bring in the affidavit of correction that should be signed and notarized by the seller. And you'll bring in a bill of sale to show a full transfer of the sale transaction. Now I know every situation is different and maybe I didn't touch on the certain situation that you're in, but you can always call us, email us, get on our website, better yet, come in and we'd be more than happy to help you make one quick trip. Thanks again from everyone at MBD Now. Again, my name is Desiree. Please like and subscribe or leave a comment below. See you on the next one.